Going out for another day. Picking up from last week, see if I can get this um, mirror installed. We found the bracket and uh, bought it yesterday. So I am going to get all that installed today. That is a priority and I will make that happen for sure today. Carolyn's gonna come over later and help me move a pole that's too heavy. We're gonna move that down to some other area, I think the street, and get the city to come pick it up. And then there's a bunch of other little things that, uh, that we need to do. We've been using uh, Asana to coordinate all this renovation stuff between Carolyn and I. And uh, it's worked out really well good because I can put task on there and she can put task and we can assign them to each other <laughs> so we don't have to do them and yeah it works out pretty well after looking at all the footage from the GoPro yesterday um, this is the new Hero 7 black and uh, first time ever recording in 4k and I, I'm having to kind of change up some of my video editing to process the 4k footage into proxy files and then edit with the proxy files and then export uh, the 4k footage from that I think it's gonna be worth it I'm not quite sure well time will tell whether 4k is really worth it for me or not I'm gonna try it anyway and if I get a good routine of how to create these proxy files that I can then bring in just like a basically like a dumbed down resolution um, so I can edit a low resolution and then export at a high resolution. It helps with the uh, computer processing and all that kind of thing. But I noticed holding this GoPro, I have got to use the case. I'm gonna see how the audio sounds with this case. Um, but I put the, the black little housing back around the GoPro and I've got the base on it. I think there was too much muffle and sound holding the GoPro directly. So I guess having the case might be a necessary thing. Having something to hold, like this bottom little grip thing. Maybe I take my Fusion um, handheld pole and put it on this. But the whole the whole thing about this GoPro is that it's small and it can fit in my pocket. And this little pedestal on the bottom really doesn't impact that too much. So I'll probably keep this on for a while and see how I like just holding the the pedestal base. And I think, it, I think it's going to help with the audio because the audio was very inconsistent depending on how I was holding the camera. Uh, some muffles and, and things. Some, some spots I just had to cut the video completely. Couldn't use it because the, the audio was so muffled. I found out in my last video that I was using the time warp um, method wrong. I had the resolution set to weird resolution and it wasn't coordinated with my 4K um, 16 by 9 format that I record the vlogs in so what I did was I changed a bunch of settings and I'm gonna record a new time warp video now um, driving to the house that we're renovating and uh, take a look at that it's it's really pretty neat the the whole last the last ones that I did though it was all stretched and and weird so this one should be a lot better All right, let's see what we got here for the bracket. We've got two different kinds, and I think the one I want to use is the one with the smaller offset. So this is the larger bracket here. Easy cleat by Delta. And then we have this one, easy cleat flush mount. So I think I want to use the flush mount. One. I'm going to open this and see what we got inside. So we got the bar, mounts to the wall like that, and then these, these cleats. Comes with a cleat and a little level. Got a little level in there. And then we've got three screws and three drywall kind of deals here. So what I'm gonna do, 
take this bar in there, lay it out, and mark a couple holes, and then we'll screw these things in and level it out. I hope that's good. It's kind of sitting on like a precarious position. So luckily, mounted this in a good spot where we've got uh, enough room for the brackets. But I do want to grab the mirror real quick. So this is the mirror we got. I'll put it like probably like that. Seems a little lower. So I want to measure these bracket positions to the center, five inches off the edge of the glass. I want the edge of the glass over here. It's going to fall right on that stupid thing. Let me go get another piece. So if this is here, can you fit this down and slide it over? No. So what I probably should do Cut this a little higher so that we can shift that over. I think there's a stud right here where this is joined. I want to take a look at this wire that we have from the old edition that we took off the back of this house. And I just want to check it real quick to make sure there's no power going to it. They're dead, so that's good. I'm going to use my drill with my mixer here to mix up some mortar. Then I'm going to pack it into that hole because uh, we don't really need that air vent there. It's underneath the stair and we've got enough vents around that we don't really need it. Um, also have a dehumidifier running in the basement 